So what made me become an adventurer was uh, I was getting a bit long in the tooth at playing rugby and started to look at different types of sport, got into endurance events, running, and I ran something called the Marathon de Sable, uh, which is five and a half marathons across the Sahara Desert. And I met a chap who's in the SAS who said he was going to walk to the North Pole and I thought, I like the sound of that. And I sort of unwittingly fell upon something called the Explorer's Grand Slam which is climbing the highest mountain on each continent and walking to the North and South Pole. Um, but one person that absolutely stood out in my mind for some time as a real hero and inspiration would be Sir Ranulf Fiennes. So I bet the hardest to date would have been the North Pole. Uh, we had brutally, unseasonably low cold weather, minus 63, uh, polar bear attack, and we had to navigate through some very, very long and high, deep uh, rubble fields. So that, that was very tough. I am likely to be going back to the North Pole uh, next April. Um, and there's various different types of sort of polar, polar trips that you can do. Um, so it's a personal thing. That will be the next challenge. And then I suspect I'll probably row the Atlantic. So North Pole, uh, sadly, uh, almost certainly will contract. Um, I had a friend that was the first person to sail uh, through the Northwest Passage about 18 months ago. So yes, I mean, it's, it, it is shrinking, it, it's a reality. Um, and actually Kilimanjaro is probably one of the best examples that used to be known as uh, Christmas pudding because of the ice on top and that's now almost completely disappeared. So uh, global warming is, is a proper concern for, for all of us. So the person that I, I, I try and raise funds and awareness for is a guy called Matt Hampson. Uh, and Matt um, tragically broke his neck uh, training for uh, an England rugby match and uh, he's just an amazing character so anything we can do to help his foundation uh, we're keen to do. Matt now uh, has, has set up something called the Matt Hampson Foundation. I'm a trustee there with Clive Woodward and, and one or two others, Mike Tyndall. Um, but the amazing thing about Matt is that he raises funds for beneficiaries that have also um, experienced catastrophic sporting spinal injuries. So for me Matt never moans, whines about anything. He's just a phenomenal character. So when you think things are dark, you get a context when you think about Matt. So um, for me, nothing's really dark. It, it, it's, you know, life's short. You've got to crack on and uh, take full advantage of everything. So three top tips would be, one, make sure that you do uh, appropriate due diligence. Make sure you know what you're getting into. Um, you don't want to get caught short. Uh, or put your life at risk. So be absolutely certain about what you are about to encounter. Uh, number two, if you can, I would thoroughly recommend uh, getting sponsorship. E expeditions can be very expensive. I think mine to date have cost north of a quarter of a million. Uh, so if you can get sponsors, that's great. And quid pro quo, you know, you can get them PR through media and, and other channels. Uh, and then I, I guess number three, again, I, I come back to Matt Hampson, is that if you're lucky enough to get sponsored to go uh, on an expedition, then the least you can do, and let's be honest, they are selfish things to do, but the least you can do is try and raise funds for a charity that's hopefully close to your heart.